Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In this week's video, I will make a full overview of Zoho Forms and show you how to use them. And before we begin this video, a quick reminder to make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button not to miss any useful information that we share here. And let's start off from the main page and the menu. Menu includes the forms, reports, tasks, users and approvals. In the Forms sub-menu, you can see My Forms, Shared Forms, Organization User Forms, Folders, Shared Folders, and the trash of different forms. Moving on to Reports, when you click on a certain form, you can see the report of who filled out the form and you can export this information. Moving on to Tasks item in the menu, here you can assign different tasks to the different reports and to different users. And obviously in the user menu item, you can select and add new users and also select the roles for them with different levels of permissions of what can they create, share within Zoho Forms. And if you want to keep everything under control, you can set approvals for the forms in this menu item. And now let's move on to the part of tutorial where I will show you how to create a form. When you click the button create a form, you have three options, create from scratch, use the templates or create a CRM form. Let's start from the templates. It's the easiest way to create a form using Zoho Forms. There is a lot of different types of templates in Zoho Forms for different occasions. That includes business forms, forms for reservation or booking, lead generation for human resources, for different requests, construction, e-commerce, non-profit organizations, medicine, education, for personal forms, for Halloween, Thanksgiving, intake forms, and to get the feedback from your clients. They all have the pre-designed templates and you can actually customize them and add new fields to these templates. So for example, let's choose this event registration form and to customize it, you can simply click the button, use this template. After that, a standard form builder will open up and you can add or delete any of the fields that you like. And it's exactly the same form builder that you will use to create a form from scratch. But here you can use a pre-designed template so you don't have to think about the design or if it suits the needs of your business, you can just change some of the fields and then it's ready to use. And before we start creating a form from scratch, let's create a CRM form. First of all, you need to select an organization, a module and the layout. After that, you will need to select CRM fields. For example, the first name, the last name, the website and the company. Moving on to mapping the fields. Here you can see the fields in the CRM field label in Zoho Forms and field type. And you can change the field type to any type of field that you want. And the last step is form setup where you can just create a name from the form and choose a form type, a standard or a card form. And after that, you will be redirected to the settings of this integration where you can change the module or layout, add new fields, add the lookup mapping fields and attachment mapping fields, also the subform field mapping and choose the different actions. For example, automation and process management, attachment and signature, approval, upset record, assignment rules and tag records. And now let's move on to creating a form from scratch. First of all, you have to choose the form time, a standard or a card form and give the name to your form. Here you can see a form builder, a blank space for, to which you can drag and drop any type of basic or advanced fields. The basic fields include the single or multi-line, number, decimal, name, address, email, phone, date, the decision box, checkbox, currency, and also some interesting fields like image upload, audio, video upload, or file upload. And some of the advanced fields include payment, Zoho CRM fields, formulas, subforms, metric choice, image choices, signature, and terms to con and conditions agreement. And now let's create a basic form for getting a feedback from your clients, starting off from basic fields like first name and last name, the email and the phone. And also add the field of the date to know when this customer attended our business. Let's also add the description of this form. And the best thing is, is that you not only can drag and drop the elements, but you can also move them around however you like, just with a few clicks.
and we can also add up the field for image upload. And now let's also add the field where a client can type in their feedback about the business and see the settings of the field. So to any field you add, you can add instructions and you can also change the size from small to medium to large. There is also a place for placeholder text, initial value, and also the validation. For example, you can make this field mandatory. And the visibility, you can hide the field or disable the field. There is also privacy settings, you can mark it as a personal or encrypt. And also choose the different sizes of the text. And for mobile apps, you can also enable the QR code inputs or barcode inputs. The same settings are available for different fields and for some fields there are even additional settings that you can set up to make your form work as you need and tailored to the needs of your business. Moving on to the next step which is creating rules for this form. There are field rules, form rules, page rules and also denying submission rules. So, for example, we can make a rule if the star rating field has less than two star rating, then we will show a field where our clients can leave a more detailed feedback. So if we want to create a more simple form for getting a feedback and we only want the star rating, we can do that. But again, if the star rating is too low, we can add additional field to ask our clients why they put such a low rating. So you can set up different rules for different fields in this form. There are also form rules where you have a condition if and then you can redirect to a thank you page or another page, assign task, send the email, send the SMS or push notification to the mobile. Let's choose the send email option. And again, if the star rating is too low, then you can send the email to the person that filled out the form to contact them and to get more information and more feedback. But you can again choose different kinds of rules for this form to align it to the needs of your business and to make sure that you get the responses that you need. And there's also page rules for the forms that consist of more than three pages and you can deny submissions, for example, if the email left in the email field is invalid. The next step is settings of the form. There are general settings that includes the display settings, for example, the form header, the text direction and submit button label. Next off, you can choose the thank you page or redirect to a custom page. And in thank you page, you can write down the text where you thank your recipients for filling out the form. You can also include a link to allow respondents to add another response, include a link to download a PDF or submitted response, or add Google Analytics or Facebook pixel tracking code. Also, you can redirect after the filling out of the form to a custom page, for example, on your website. You can also set up the date and time format and also set up a pre-fill URL configuration. There are also settings for form availability. For example, you can make this form available for always between the dates or between the dates and times. Moving on to email notifications, you can configure the sending of the emails, SMS or messages via WhatsApp. For branding, there is an option to add a custom domain or make a custom browser tab. Settings for PDF and document merge include the PDF editor and document merge. Also, there are settings for submissions and storage like saving and resuming, editing the response, managing form attachments, auto trashing the form and reviewing before submission. You can also set up the custom messages and translation of your forms to different languages. Some very important settings are in spam control. First of all, you can add the double opt-in and OTP verification via email. Also, you can add up the CAPTCHA in different versions. You can also set up the scan and fill or push notifications for mobile apps. For compliance and audit, there's accessibility and recording audit settings. And for tasks, there's permissions and filter settings. Moving on to themes where you can customize the look of your form. There are pre-built themes that you can choose from, your themes that you can create to make the branding of all of the forms that you're using, and there's organization themes. 
If we're talking about the pre-built themes, there's so many options to choose from, so many different color palettes, different pictures in the background, there are more strict and more classic ones, and there's also vibrant options. So you can choose any theme that you like and it will be applied to your form. Or again, you can create your own theme using a theme editor. Here you can customize the look of your form, the background image or the background pattern or a color. You can customize any of the fonts, the winds of the fields, the body, the footer and the button look and everything. It is fully customizable and it can be fully done to your branded colors and to your branded look. So your customers will always know that this form is from your company. The next step is sharing. You can share it with public specific users, groups or all users. You can also embed it on your website or there's already a connector where you can embed it to Zoho sites or WordPress. You can use this link to embed it also in your Zoho campaigns or in MailChimp's email campaigns. And you can also track the entries with UTM tracking or Google Tag Manager tracking. And the next step is integration. So you can integrate Zoho Forms to other apps, for example, Zoho CRM and other Zoho apps like Zoho Begin, Zoho Sales IQ and others, or to third-party developer apps like Google Sheets, Microsoft Excel, Calendar, Salesforce and others. And the last optional step is setting up the approvals. And now let's see how our forms look like so you can see all of the fields and some of them are obligatory and mandatory to fill out and you can see that if we choose one star only less than two stars basically then this field that we set up by rules will appear and the last part of our tutorial is going through the control panel and seeing what can you set up in Zoho Forms. So for example, there are some customization settings like setting up the portal name, the custom domain or the language of your form. There's also a lot of different notification settings like SMS getaways, sender email address or WhatsApp configuration. And there's a lot of settings for data administration, for example, for data export, for schedule reports, HIPAA compliance, exporting record audit data, exporting filing storages, and much more. And the last settings are developer space, the access tokens, and different connections where you can create your own different integrations. So that's it for today's video. I hope that it was helpful for you. Please leave your feedback in the comments down below. And again, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button because we prepare a lot of useful content for you every single week.